new setting powder. I about flipped when I saw this at my Rite Aid. So I moved, but this is how the world just collects for me. I moved, yet I'm still pretty close to a Rite Aid. Like I still live right around the corner from a Rite Aid and it's crazy and I love it. And is it bad for my wallet? Yes, but is it good for my business? Anyways, so this is the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder. I got mine in the shade 600 Banana. I am so excited to try this out. I have not put on my concealer. So far, I just put on lips, eyebrows, and foundation because I wanted to get through that nice and quick. I used this Marc Jacobs Liquid Lipstick and I topped it with a Jeffree Star lip gloss. Just in case you guys were inquiring. I'm going to use the CoQP Bright Concealer. I'm going to use this because it's like right here. I literally had it on my desk and I really do like this concealer. It's a really good concealer. Otoño, have you seen my star mirror? So I'm going to go ahead and use it. gonna go ahead and try it out it comes with a little puff which if I'm being honest I'll probably never use this Ooh, this is messy eee, that's messy I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this as I usually would with my damp beauty sponge I'm just gonna go ahead and read you guys some deets and tails while this bakes for a little bit I do want to let it set because I normally would let any other powder set and I'm gonna treat this like any other powder some stats about this however is it is 10.99 it says this set it and forget it our true blend minerals loose mineral powder blurs the appearance of pores and fine lines it won't cake your crease and locks in your makeup look for a perfect hashtag no filter finish that lasts all day and it has an expanded shade range to match all skin tones I will say this is one of a few that I saw and and this isn't a new product. I think they added new shades and I know they definitely for sure changed the packaging. I do want to note that on the ingredients, the very first ingredient is talc. Also, oat kernel flour is the second and it has dimethicone, which means it has silicone and everything else. I don't really know what it might be. Either way, I really just want to test out the formula. It's $10.99, so it's really not that expensive. Also, for the amount you get, it's really not a bad price. You get a good amount. You get 18 grams, which is not bad for, let's call it what it is, 11 bucks. I think it's a really good deal. Also, upon first impression, I love the shade. The yellow is yellow enough to be brightening, but it's not yellow enough to look like jaundice kind of. Um, and it does look very finely milled. Do I feel blurred or anything? No, not yet, not necessarily. But I'll keep you guys updated as I obviously remove. Yo fam, this is brightening the house. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little impressed by this. I really like the shade. The shade is perfect. It's like the perfect banana color. You want it to be a little yellow that it's gonna be brightening, but not too yellow that it's gonna make you look sick. This nailed it a thousand percent, at least on my skin tone. It's very complimentary. It's very nice. It is very smoothing. It is very finely milled. The ingredients leave something to be desired for sure. It's not the best ingredients, but then again, you're not paying the highest price tag. It's kind of like a give and take with that but is it blurring it's pretty blurring is it the most blurring powder i've ever seen no but did it set everything nicely yes is it looking too stark white and too like powdery chalky cakey not at all and this looks pretty good without me setting it with a setting spray and for that to be happening that's impressive because usually what a setting spray does is it takes away a lot of the powderiness and it makes everything kind of melt together this already by itself looks pretty good I like it, I'm with it. For now, we stand it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. We will check in and see how we feel. Makeup is done. I should probably put it back together again and make it look cute for this makeup review, which is my job, Gloria. <coughs> I think it's a good powder. Do I think it's the greatest powder ever? No. But did it work really well and shock me? Yes. I have powders that blur better than this. And for that reason alone, I wouldn't give this like 10 stars. But for the price, what you're getting, the shade of it, does it work? I think all of this in performance with, with the overall price, I can honestly stamp my approval on this and be like, yeah, go ahead and try it. Go try it out for yourself. It has kept me pretty matte and I have been wearing this around 
about an hour, an hour and a half or so. Keep in mind, it's a very hot day. I am nowhere near a fan and I'm under hot lights. So do with that what you will. I love you guys so very much. Go cover girl. Here.